everybody. We are broadcasting live from the resistance. Game, Maddox Games and Comics in London, Kentucky. We're just going to do a little generic sale today. I'm hoping you guys will enjoy it. And uh, we'll have some fun together. That sounds good, don't it? We've got some uh, good stuff going up here today. I'll start off with a couple of... Uh, couple items here. These are some graded books. I'm going to have a couple of graded books at a time. This is uh, Dead Men starring in Strange Adventures. It's number 211. This book is uh, valued at about $65 to $75. Uh, the, calf, the case is cracked. Thanks whoever dropped that. CC, case is cracked. I'm going to put it up for 25 You're going to have to have it recased if you care about such things. And over here, this is uh, Lady Death uh, Apocalypse number one. This is one of only 250 of this book ever printed. And this one is graded 9.8 near mint. Uh, obviously, that's going to be one of the highest grades that book ever receives. There was only 250 of them ever printed, and it's 9.8. I'm going to put that out at $115. I now have a really nice copy of Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man, number 67. I don't know which issue this, uh, this, uh, which issue this is a reprint of. All Marvel Tales are reprints, but this is a 25-cent Bronze Age Marvel Tales in very good condition. I'm going to put that out at six bucks. Like I say, very good condition. Sasha, I'm going to need some bags and boards over here. For some reason, there's none at all. Which is one of those weird things where you go, huh, how'd that happen? Yep. Uh, would you uh, maybe ask uh, uh, Benjamin to bag us and board us uh, 200 bags and boards? I now have Big Time Amazing Spider-Man number 650. Number 650. We're going to put this out for just 3 bucks. Going to have a lot of $3 books today. Going to start off a lot of stuff. This is the first time we put this out. It will be bagged and boarded if you buy it. Again, Amazing Spider-Man number 650. Near Mint. There you go. I got some more Spider-Man I'll put out here after a bit. But I'm only going to put out one at a time. Uh, this is Secret Empire. It's the free comic book day, Secret Empire. Uh, we went through all 200 of these we had on free comic book day. Got a few more in, and we've sold them for as much as $10. I'm going to put this one out at just 3 bucks. There we go. Convergence. Uh, Suicide Squad Convergence, number 2. I'm going to put that out for 2 bucks. Convergence Suicide Squad number two out for two bucks. There you go. That's a good deal. Here's, here is Champions number 10. This is in good condition. Uh, it is a 30 cent Bronze Age cover. And remember, I said good condition. Not fine. Not very fine. This might even go very good, but it is no better than that. And I'm going to put it out for three bucks. It is a 30 cent Bronze Age issue. I'm also going to put this one out. For four bucks, this one is in much nicer shape. This is the Champions number 16 for four bucks. Thank you very much. Champions number 16 for four bucks. Really nice Bronze Age book. I'm going to go ahead and bag and board this uh, Amazing Spider Man number 650. Like I say, this is near mint. It's that new suit look he got. So, really nice. What'd we just sell? Ah, oh, Lady Gluff. De Lady Duff. That's a good one. Lady Duff Apocalypse number one. Only 250 ever printed. This one is graded 9.8 near mint white pages. That's as perfect as you are going to get. $115. Has nowhere to go but up from there. Only 250 ever printed. How many people collect Lady Duff? Well, I'm willing to bet it's more than 250 people.
I'm going to make some lots today, too. I'm going to set some lots back here. I'm going to do lots of 10 comics uh, for eh, 12 bucks. Any magic. I am going to do some magic today. I'll get some out here uh, shortly. You want to go up front and grab me some of those uh, magic lots, the 30 rare lots that we can sell for 10 bucks? Thank you. Here is a five Marvel comic lot. Five Marvel comics. I don't know what's in there. I didn't make the lot. It's just eight bucks. Let me get something up in the close-up window, too. Get something up in that close-up window. Yeah. Here is a new this week, Venomverse, number three, variant edition. I have just two of these left. We've been selling them uh, all week, and that's since yesterday. For seven bucks a piece. I do have an Ixalan. Uh, what do they call this? An Ixalan bundle. It has ten booster packs. It has a, a land grab in it. Uh, a countdown dice. Cool stuff. Uh, we sell these in the store for $46. I'm going to put one out for 39 and I only have two or three in stock, so uh, this will be a very limited item for us. There you go. Ixalan bundle for $39. Five marble for eight bucks to Nicholas Oliveira. Thanks, Nicholas. Viera. There we go. It is noon here. You might be able to hear the bells ringing in the background. Church bells across the street ringing out some Christmas songs already. Champions three and four to Kingpin Wilson Fisk. Yep, they're laying on the counter, bunch of them. There you go. Those both go to Kingpin Wilson Fisk. Tasha says hello. I have one, two, three, four, five of these left. We made 120 of these packs of 30 magic rares. 30 magic rares for 10 bucks. We sell them for 10 bucks a piece. That's the last five in the store. 30 magic rares. There's usually 31 or 32 in a pack. We guarantee there will be 30 different rares in each pack. 10 bucks. Yep. All right, I got some more champions here. Since those sold, I'm going to put out champions number 12, a 30-cent Bronze Age book. This one will also be $3. It's in nice shape. I'd say it's in very good condition. Hercules, Angel, and Black Widow on the cover. This one is champions number 8. It's got a chip out of the corner. I'm going to put it out for just 2 bucks. Champions number 8. Uh, it's got a chip right here out of the corner, just the cover. And uh, we'll put that out for two bucks, another 30 cent Bronze Age book. And then I've got some Silver Age stuff coming up too. I'm going to go ahead and get this one bagged and boarded. Got some pretty pretty nicer stuff. I mean, not nothing really expensive has come up yet. I'm just going through back stock. So, you know, whatever I find, that's what I put out. Uh, this. The Savage Submariner with a classic Spider-Man crossover on the cover. And he is just, it's a 20 cent uh, Silver Age comic number 69. I'm going to put it out for uh, just uh, five bucks. Five bucks on that one.
This is Astonishing Tales number 25, Deathlock. Uh, this one's a nice book. I'm going to put it out at 15. I'm a big time uh, uh, Deathlock fan, so I probably won't mark that one down any. I also have Marvel Zombies number 4. Mar I should say Marvel Zombies 4, number 1. I'm going to put that out at 3 bucks. $3 for Marvel Zombies 4, number 1. It has Son of Satan. It has uh, Morbius. And I don't know who the hot chick is. Plus Man-Thing and Werewolf by Night all on the cover. Fun, fun. Yeah. Not including the two uh, graded comics I got, I got up here. Um, we've got 15, 17, 25, 29, 32. We got $32 in comics up there. Your champion's claim did not come through except for the one when you claimed uh, three and four on the champions, uh, Mr. Fisk. We did pull those, but if you want the champions for two and three, uh, you're going to have to send that again. We didn't see anything about that. Yeah, vary up your claim a little bit, Kingpin. Uh, Facebook may be taking you down to spamming. Three and two. Very good. You got them. Thank you much. Thank you much. See what else we got might have here. Uh huh. I'm looking for some more champions since you're buying them as fast as I can put them out, but it doesn't look like I have any more in this pile. All right. So I've got a Venom verse number one here. Venom verse number one. I'm going to put that out for five bucks. Venom verse war stories number one. Five dollars is the cover price. Five dollars. I also have the Incredible Hulk, Bats Against Rhino. Rhino is pitching. Uh, the Incredible Hulk is batting, not catching. And uh, I'm going to put that out for just uh, just three bucks. It's the Incredible Hulk number 435. Do you like that? Here's a Robin, the Joker's Wild, number one, lenticular cover. It's a lenticular card that is part of the cover, as you can see it right there. I'm going to put that out at just $8. Eight bucks. Looks like I'm going to have to take something down to put it out, so let's get on that. I'm going to start taking down stuff and uh, going around order. Oh, had that one out only a minute or two. I guess I'll take this one down, whatever it is. There we go. Oh, man. We couldn't sell that Marvel Tales for 6 bucks. Well, this is a Bronze Age 25-cent cover Bronze Age Marvel Tales. Uh, couldn't sell it for 6 I'll put it out for 3 and give it a try for 3 Let me see what I got here. I got a bunch of Marvels back here. I'm going to see if I have uh, 5 Marvels for 5 bucks, And I do. I do. I have 5 Marvel Comics for 5 bucks. A nice mix of stuff. You would like five marbles for five bucks? I got one for you. You can go ahead and claim it now while I'm all getting them in the same bag and board. Well, that's how we pack them up when we sell them like that. We put them all in one bag and board together. Five bucks. 
I would say that's very fine, but give me just a second. I'll take a closer look at it. Yeah, that's very fine. It could probably be uh, pressed. It's got a little bit of spine roll, or I'd have this out at 30. It, it could use a pressing, and if it was pressed, it would probably grade. Uh, you might be able to get it to near mint, or at least very fine plus. It's a really sharp-looking copy of that book. Five Marvel books, five bucks. Five them, five bucks. There we go. Five books, five bucks. Couldn't get two out of the DC Suicide Squad. Guess I'll hang on to that price ticket for a little bit. See what else I can use it on. Uh, here is a really nice one. This is uh, Marvel Comics presents Wolverine number 117. Got a Venom on the cover there. It's Astonishing Tales number 25. It is a 25 cent Bronze Age cover. I also have Deathstroke, New 50, I'm sorry, DC Rebirth, uh, Deathstroke number 15. I'm putting that out for three bucks. Marvel 5 for 5 to Nicholas. Thanks, Nicholas. I'm leaving that up for one more round, and then I'm taking it down. I won't be repricing it. I wouldn't mind keeping that one myself, you see. I'm a big fan of that particular comic, or that particular character, I guess I should say. Here is Amazing Spider-Girl, number one, stunning first issue. I'm going to put this out for five bucks. Amazing Spider-Girl, number one. Right there. <coughs> Just five dollars. Jose gets astonishing for 16 or 15. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. Robin number one for eight didn't sell. I'm going to mark it down to five and give it one more go round. Five dollars. Robin number one with the lenticular uh, card cover. Number one in a limited four issue uh, miniseries. Got this out here for three. Robin for five to Nicholas. Thank you. Venomverse for five. That is still a good deal. That will go back on my new new rack if we can't sell it for that. Deathstroke for three. That just went out. I'll leave that a while. Here's another Venom. Oh, man. This is an older one. has a two twenty five original cover price on it. I'm going to put Venom out for four bucks. Venom number three. Mid 90s, I'd have to guess on this one. Wolverine for three to Nicholas. Yep. Aliens, Judge Dredd versus Aliens, number two. I'm going to put that out for two bucks. Amazing Spider Girl didn't go for five. We'll try her for two. Planet Ho oh, Planet Scar, number one, Prolude. Nice. Number one, Planet Scar, number one. We're going to put that out for five. It sold for six before, but the person didn't pay for it. I guess I'm going to take this Marvel Tales down and stick that in my 
goes on the website pile. Got a nice run of Lobo here. Who likes Lobo? Anybody like Lobo? I have, man, this is a nice run. I have Lobo, the new 52. Number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and annual number one. Fourteen consecutive Lobo books. Fourteen consecutive Lobo books. I'm going to put them out cheap. Thirty books. Thirty bucks for this whole lot. We will put this in a magazine bag and ship it to you in one lot. They will arrive in near mint condition. Fourteen books. Thirty bucks. Here is Hulk, four twenty-seven, three bucks. He's going to fight Man Thing. Hulk four twenty-seven, fighting Man Thing. Or is that Swamp Thing? No, that's Man Thing. What's that? Ah. I guess I'm not in the mood today. Venomverse for five won't go. That'll go on the website. Oh, I got some. Thanks, sir. So this is a True Believers bundle. It has five True Believers comics in it. We're going to put it out five books for five bucks. All Marvel True Believers reprints. Five bucks. This is uh, Royals Lockjaw exclusive cover. I'm going to put it out. We've been selling them for nine. This is my last one. I'm going to sell it for eight. Here's an Evolution number one Ashcan edition right there. That is going to be difficult to come by. We're going to go ahead and put this out at just uh, 19 bucks. 19. We got the Ixalan bundle uh, right here. We have 10. I'm sorry. For 10 bucks, we have 30 uh, magic rares. 30 different magic rares. No duplicates in those little packs right there. 30 magic rares for 10 bucks. I'm going to go ahead and put Venom out for uh, two bucks. Going to move uh, Planet Scar number one down from five to just three dollars. All right, I'm going to double these up. This is a good deal. This is a uh, Hulk 427 and Hulk 428, both together. Uh, Hulk versus Man Thing. And I'm going to put those out together for $5. Two books, five bucks. I'm going to put those right up here.
And I'm going to put out a Marvel lot. Five books. They're all bagged and boarded individually. Five books. Five bucks on a Marvel lot. Five M for five. Five books on a Marvel lot. We're going to put that right here. This is 14 uh, consecutive Lobos. One through 13 and annual number one. I'm going to drop them to 28 bucks. I'm not dropping them lower than that. We'll just price them and put them in the bins. True Believers bundle. Five True Believer books. Five different covers. Five different books. Five bucks. We got Royals. Uh, number nine, Lockjaw cover there for eight bucks. Got that ash can for nineteen. I got some nice toys here. This is a Stranger Thing. Stranger Things uh, uh, mystery mini. There, there are some. I mean, there's like the uh, the bad guy in here. Uh, one in twenty-four. Uh, variant, all kinds of cool stuff. There's 12 different figures, and they are different uh, rarities. We normally sell those in the store for $11.99, so 12 bucks. Offering them today for nine dollars to you. Robin for five. It says, did we get that? And the Wolverine for three. Okay, all right, we got those. I'll have a look down at my phone in a few minutes. Okay, I'm going to see about putting together a DC bundle here. Let's see what we got. We couldn't sell any of these uh, Venomverse over here for seven. I'm going to put Batman Murder Machine out here. Uh, metal tie-in. That's a number one. We're putting those out for just four bucks. I'm going to put out these Venomverse number three variant covers for just $4. And we sold those so fast I went and bought more from another shop, but I'm going to have to just sell them for what I paid for them. Because we were getting way over cover on those, and now, you know, I bought these at cover price, so I'll sell them at cover price. See if I can get back out of them. Yep, yep. All right. Looks like today is not a uh, uh, CGC day. We'll take all these down. I have a I Hate Fairyland. Uh, well, it's actually I Hate Image. Number one. This has an homage to the... Uh, Walking Dead, issue number 100, black and white, variant. Uh, we've sold them for, at $15 for the last several days. Um, and I think that's our last one. I'm checking to see if there are any more. Marvel 5 for 5. Thank you. This is also a Marvel 5 for 5, but it's five true believers. Those are number one in first appearance reprints. Random. Five of them for five bucks. This is a BPRD, I believe. Nope. Dark Horse Books, The Visitor, How and Why He Stayed. Uh, this is a $20 graphic novel. I'm going to mark it 15% off. A little more than 15% off. Uh, we're going to mark it $15. How about that? I need another pad of sticky notes, evidently. I got them right here. I got plenty. They, re they restocked my... Uh, what is it? 
Thanks, buddy. Who was that? Kingpin. Thanks, Kingpin. Uh, so here is a visitor, how and why he stayed. Graphic novel from Dark Horse. Brand new. We just got it in. Uh, we've had it out for 20 bucks, but I'm going to mark it at 15 because we bought pretty heavy on that. Again, this is two uh, Hulks. Uh, 420, is it 426 and 427? or No, 427, 428. Um, fighting the uh, man thing right there. It should be an awfully short. I mean, he should just clap his hands and evaporate. Uh, man thing, but, yeah, whatever. Maybe I know the powers of Hulk a little better than the people that write him. Probably. Probably. picked up another big bunch of books. I'm going to start putting these out. Let's see here. I'm getting some, uh, maybe some DC stuff here. Oh, that's nice. Deadpool, Dead Presidents, graphic novel. Uh, we're going to mark this down a little bit too. I'm going to mark it $14. Uh, this is a really good Deadpool graphic novel. If you haven't collected them all or read them all, this is a good one. There you go. Here is Batman, All-Star Batman. Um, this is number 13 and is the third variant cover. I'm just going to sell it at cover price. Uh, we had it marked previously at 8 bucks. I'm going to mark it down to cover price, which is just $5. $5 right here. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and pull these. We're going to get these all uh, bagged and boarded and put in the bins for like 4 or 5 bucks a piece. How about Deadpool, Night of the Living Deadpool, number two? I'm going to offer that up for three bucks. Three bucks for that. Night of the Living Deadpool, number two, near mint, just about perfect condition. I'll offer that up for three bucks. Put it right here. Working around again. Just put that one out. Just put that out. Venom verse for four. Can't make it. All right. That happens. I hate Fairyland for 15. All right. So here's what we're going to do. Is anybody interested in the I hate Fairyland at all? We're at eight people. Wow. I thought we'd be at like 30 people. So here's the deal. This I hate Fairyland number one. All right. I hate image number one. I'm not going to sell it. It's going to be free. I'm going to give this one away. I'm going to give this one away at 1 o'clock as long as we have 25 shares, 25 likes, 25 comments, and 25 viewers. At 1 o'clock, if we have 25 viewers, I'm going to give this away free to a random person who has shared our feed. So please share our feed. Just, just share it. That's all you got to do. Share our feed. And you're in the drawing to win that. The more times you share our feed, the more times you're in the drawing to win that $15 brand new Chase variant cover for I Hate Image. This is Hawkeye number seven. Offering that up for just two bucks. Tell you what we're going to do. We're also going to offer... The uh, the 30, um, 30 rare um, magic cards. That's one pack. 30 rare magic cards. Just $9. Right there. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. 30 rare magic cards, nine bucks. Yep. I'm going to drop the price on the Ixalan this one time. And I do mean one time. I'm only going to sell this one magic Ixalan uh, bundle pack right here. 
I'm going to price it $32. $32 for the Ixalan bundle that has 10 booster packs in it, the land, the dice counter, and the cool box, just $32. Bucks. Bam. That's right. Now give me a second. I'm going to like and share my own feed so maybe some more people will come in here and see it with us. You don't like my whistling? Yeah. <laughs> right? All right, we're down. Well, we're back up to eight viewers again. Again, guys, we're going to give away a, a, 20, a $15 comic book here at 1 o'clock. All we have to do is to get to 25 viewers, and the only problem with getting to 25 viewers is you guys sharing. You share this to your page, you share this to your trade pages. We're going to get to 25 viewers just like that. We've done this before. We know that's how it works. Uh, it's okay to not share. Maybe you don't want as many people looking at the cool stuff, and you want to keep it all to yourself, and I can understand that mentality. But free books come when we have lots of viewers because that's when we can afford to give away free books. So there we go. At 1 o'clock, if we have 25 viewers, I'm going to give away this book. And at 2 o'clock, if we have 25 viewers, I'm going to give away 20 brand-new comic books stuff from our new comic rack 20 comics not your choice my choice but all new comics i'm going to give them away at two o'clock if we have 25 viewers so get our viewership up help us help you yeah we'll give away some free stuff i like giving away free stuff but we have to do it when we're making a profit we make a profit when we have 25 or more viewers in here active buying and promoting our cool um sales so like it just like this push a little button right there share that's right just like that share now public boom i have liked and shared i'm going to comment hi posted i just shared bam there i am now if you like share and post you like share and comment we will get to more viewers and when we get to more viewers we can give away cool stuff i like it as soon as we hit 25 viewers i'm going to give this away and if we're still at 25 viewers at two o'clock i'm going to give away the 20 books boom all right let me go ahead and take some stuff down and put out some more stuff. Night of the Living Deadpool did not sell for three. That'll go on the website. These two hulks could not sell for five dollars for the pair of them. I'll probably put those in a bundle sometime. I'm gonna save the price tag here. Boom, keep it right there. Let me see what else we got here. Oh, oh, that's Venomverse. Nobody likes Venomverse anymore. That was that's so yesterday, or maybe the day before yesterday, something like that. I forget. Anyway, oh. Here is a nice Avengers uh, Silver Age. It is a 25 cent cover, but it's still a Silver Age because it's a giant size. Uh, we're going to put this one out. Avengers number 93. Silver Age Avengers number 93. On the back, it is priced at $114. You know what I'm going to put it out for? It's going to be unbelievable. I'm going to put it out for just 30 bucks. Uh, what's up with 32? This is $32 for an Ixalan uh, bundle. That's not an item number. That's a price. 32 bucks. Bam! 32 bucks for a $45 item. Pretty good deal. Here's 30 bucks for a $120 item. That's a really good deal. Let's get some other stuff up here and see what we got, we got going. Oh, Silver Age Submariner. Silver Age Submariner number 33, 15 cent cover in good plus to very good condition. I'm going to put it out at just five bucks. How about a Silver Age Captain America number 164, 20 cent cover, 164, very good condition. It looks like 
Oh, it's, no, that doesn't look like. That is the falcon has been bitten by a, a werewolf, and he's now turned into a werewolf. Boom. Falcon is a werewolf. Silver Age Captain America. Five bucks. Yeah, that's a good deal right there. I'm going to take this graphic novel down. We'll get this put, put on the uh, retail floor. What is this we got out for two bucks? Hawkeye. Nobody likes Hawkeye. We'll take that down. Nobody wants that. Let me see what else we got here. I got some more Silver Age, probably. Silver Age, Captain America, and the Falcon. I'm going to put this one out as number 163. Silver Age, Captain America, and the Falcon. It's about good condition. I'm going to put it out for four bucks. Man, we got some cool stuff out here. Here is Amazing Spider-Man 232 Fine Plus. 24 bucks right there. Bam. That's 30 magic rare cards. $9 for 30 magic rares. Going to put it right there. Steampunk Halloween, number one, first, pr uh, yep, September 11th, first printing right there, number one. We'll put it out for two bucks. Royals, number eight, with or number nine with Lockjaw uh, special cover. Couldn't get $8 out of that. Fine. I'm going to go ahead and put it out for four. Four bucks on that one. See what we get. Pull this down. Oh, Evolution. Couldn't get 19 out of that cool book. Let's try 12. This is Evolution number one, Ashcan edition from Image and Skybound. $12. This graphic novel is coming down. To Today is not a, not a uh, graphic novel day, I guess. Steampunk for two to who? Craig. Craig. Thanks, Craig. Let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah. Debbie's Dates, a 15-cent DC Comics Silver Age book. Uh, we're going to put it out to just 4 bucks. It has an $8 price sticker on it. I'm going to put it out for 4 We've reduced the price by half. That's a good deal. Slide this over a little bit so people can remember. That's for free if we get to 25 viewers. We're currently at 12. Keep, keep on liking and a sharing. Keep on a cross-posting. Keep posting our feed to your uh, trade groups and stuff. We'll get to 25 viewers and give away this book. Here's a Silver Surfer, number 13. That's going to go for 2 bucks. Really? Nobody wants the Silver Age Submariner for 5 That is nuts. I'm going to put out Silver Age Submariner for 4 Nobody wants the Captain America for 5 and 4 All right. I'll put out 164 for 4 bucks instead of 5 and I'll put out 163 for three bucks instead of four. Yeah, let me find a three dollar price sticker. I should have like ten of them back here, but I don't, so I'm just gonna make one. Three bucks. Silver Age, Captain America, 163, three dollars. We can't get twenty-four dollars out of Amazing Spider-Man 232. That's fine. I'm gonna put it out at 15, even though the price tag on it is 30. Put it out for 15. See how that moves. Cap for three and four to Kingpin. Thanks, Kingpin. Appreciate that. Here you go. Let me see what else I can find here. See if I got anything else worth putting out in that spot. Uh, here's Red Hood Arsenal, number two. It is priced up, but I'm just going to mark it back down to $2. Red Hood Arsenal, two bucks. Here's All-Star Batman. It's a new one. Five bucks, cover price. Put it out right there. All-Star Batman, number 15. There you go. What do we got here for four? Royals. I'm going to take that down, put it in our go on the website book. Oh, looks like we got room for a couple there. Let me see what I got here. I think I got enough for, a, for uh, maybe a Marvel and a DC uh, grouping. One, two, three, four. One, two... Three, four. Uh -huh. So here's five random marbles for five. No duplicates. Five marbles for five. I'm going to have five DC for five in a moment. If you want them, you can go ahead and pre-claim them. 
Five to M for five. Five Marvel comics for five bucks right there. Let's see about these DC. There's one, two, three, four. I'm just making sure I don't get any duplicates. Five them for five to Craig. Thank you, Craig. Now I have five DC for five. I had to pull one. A lot of these are stuff we've offered before at three and four dollars a piece, and we put them in these lots. But I only had four DC that I'd shown before, so I had to put one no one's seen yet into this lot. Five DC for five dollars. Turning books into money. That's what I do. That's what I do. That's pretty much all I do. This is an icy. This is Batman Detective Comics 60 Cent Bronze Age cover number 528. It's in fine condition. I'm going to put it out for five bucks. Detective 528 for just five bucks. Putting it right there. Let's see what we got up here. Silver Surfer is going to go in a lot. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah? I'll put out another Marvel lot here in a few minutes. This is X, all new X Wolverine. I don't know what that means. Number 24. It's a variant. It is the second Chase variant. Look at that venomized cover. Three bucks. Three bucks right there. Bam! What is this? Submariner. It's a Silver Age Submariner. FFS. You know what FFS stands for, right? For fuck's sake. Here we have a 15 cent Silver Age Submariner, number 33. I'm going to put it out for three bucks. You know why? Because I'm just daring somebody not to buy it. Am I going to have to put that into a bundle? This. I don't know what All American Comics is and who did what for three. Wolverine for Craig. Thank you, Craig. Here I'm going to put out the Avengers that I that is priced on the back at $115. I had it out for $30. Now I'm putting it out for $15. It's Avengers number 93 for $15. Bucks. Boom. Uh, All American, is that a title or a publisher? You're going to have to tell me. Yep. I know the one you, that that is, but it's from the 50s. Uh, we wouldn't have any, and if I did, I would probably... Uh, put them on the website uh, because they're extremely, extremely, extremely rare. But they've also made all American comics uh, by title and by publisher since then. So narrow it down a little bit. That's a, that is a good value buy, James. There you go. Boom. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Here is Conan. It's a $1 cover price Conan book from Marvel number 222. I'm putting it right there for two bucks. Let me see what I got here. I got I got four different Marvels. I'm going to need one more for a bundle. One more for a bundle. Yeah, I need one more. I'll put that up here. I'm going to put a couple more books out right there. Let's see what we got. This is a DC Super, uh, I'm sorry, Batman Incorporated, number seven. I'm putting it out for three bucks. This is DC, Superman. DC Batman Incorporated, number seven, brand new, near mint condition. Grant and Morrison worked on that. There you go. DC going to clean up a little bit back here. I got tags where I've marked stuff down all over the place, man. Just everywhere. There we go. Get some of those old tags out of the way. We got two DC toward a DC lot. What for three? What for three? Sub. Sub for three to Kingpin. Good value buy. Thank you much. Slide this one over. Here's a Nightwing number 23. Nightwing number 23. I'm putting that out for three bucks. 
Night wing number 23, $3. Yep. That's how it goes. That's how it go. Yeah. Night wing number 23, 3 bucks. One, two, three, four. It's another DC. This is a nice, astonishing tales. Deathlock the Demolisher. I'm going to put them out at seven bucks. This isn't quite as early one as the last one we had up, but it's a good looking cover. Astonishing tales. Seven bucks. Nice. Amazing Spider-Man. We got Amazing Spider-Man 232 out here. We've had it out. It's a $30 comic. It was priced in 2013 at 30 bucks. We put that out at 24. We put it out at 15. All right. I'm going to put it out at 8. Don't buy it at 8. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. Don't buy it at 8. Thanks, James. Appreciate that. I got Doctor Strange, number 25. I'm going to put that out at 2. I got Old Man Logan, Venomized Villains, number 28, Variant Edition. I'm going to put that out at 3. I'm going to take that detective down because nobody wanted it. I got five DC for five bucks, so I guess I don't need to hurry on another one of those. Here is a Spidey. These were popular one time. Spidey number 12. Damn. Logan for three to 12. I don't remember where I put that. Here is an Emerald Dawn 2, The Trial of Sinestro, number 6, for 3 bucks. Yep. I got 5 marbles for 5 bucks. I had to pull one out of the bin back here to get there. One nobody's seen yet. But it's 5 marbles for 5 bucks. 5 M. Five dollars. Five DC for five. Five Marvel for five. We got some good stuff up. What about this Spidey? Oh, we just put that up. Let me go over here and fiddle around for a bit then. Nobody wants that Nightwing for three. Mm, nobody. 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 I should probably just quit putting up DC books. Because we are, we are not moving DC today. We are moving some Marvel awfully quick, though. I appreciate that, Nicholas. Uh, let me see about putting up more Marvel. Unless they, oh, nobody wants this Lobo, do they? All right, I'm going to put it up. Lobo, Balony Hunting for Fun and Profit. Uh, it's a graphic novel going up for 3 bucks. You know, that kind of thing. Kind of a good deal, graphic novel, 3 bucks. The New Avengers, number one. This is some type of incentive cover. Has no no uh, thing on the front. It says PSR. I don't know exactly what that means. PSR. We're gonna put that up for three bucks. It might be a twenty-five dollar book for all I know. I don't really know. Ooh, Steed and Peel, another graphic novel. Steed and Peel. This is sort of a you know remember like the Avengers the TV show. That's kind of like that kind of thing, kind of British spy stuff. That's three bucks. Wow. Yeah. 
I got another Batman detective here. This is Batman detective number 506. Fine to fine plus condition. Right there. Might even go very fine. I'm not promising that's an eight. But I am promising at least a six, six and a half. So there you go for that. Let's see if I can find five more marbles to put in a lot. Let me see what I got here. Uh, I got no marbles at all right now. I got all kinds of DC stuff last year. All right, well, you, what are you going to do? Really? Thank you, Nicholas. Avengers for three. Here's Return of the Living Deadpool, number one. First print, first cover, eight bucks, near mint. What are you going to do? Anybody here a Nightwing fan? Oh, we're almost to 20 viewers. Keep liking and sharing. Everyone like and share. If we hit 25 simultaneous viewers, I'm going to give this away to someone randomly on the feed who has liked our page. Come on, like and share. Let's get up to 25 people and give away that book. Here's Nightwing number 25 from the new, fi I'm sorry, Nightwing number 29 from the new 52. Three bucks. Nightwing 29 from the new 52. Near mint. It's three bucks. Come on. That's a Lobo graphic novel for three dollars. It's a graphic novel. Lobo, graphic novel for three bucks. We're at 17 viewers. Come on, let's push. Let's get to 25 viewers and give away this free book. Come on, we're going the wrong way. Push, push, push. Winnebago Graveyard number two. That's probably like an $8 book right now, but I'm going to go ahead. Lobo for three to Craig. Thanks, Craig. I'm going to go ahead and put out Winnebago Graveyard number two. First print, three dollars. Crazy talk. Crazy. Wow. Got some good three dollar books coming up, man. Here is Spawn number 41, first print, near mint, three bucks. Let's take this down a little bit. Spidey for three. Spawn for three to Nicholas Oliveira. Nice. Sorry, Craig, you just missed that. Nicholas got in ahead of you. Generation Gone, number one. Hard to find now. Put it out for cover price. Just five dollars. When I say image number one cover price, you say yes. That's how it works if you collect comics. Image number one at cover price, always say yes. Here is an Iron Man number three. As seen on TV, it says so right on the cover. I'm going to put that out to just two bucks. Really? Return of the Living Deadpool. Nobody give me eight bucks for near mint copy. Website. The Culling Prelude. Superboy New Fifty Two Number Eight. Near mint. Three bucks. Bronze Age DC. Metal Men. Brave and the Bold with Batman. Number 187, three bucks. Iron Man for two to Craig. Thanks, Craig. Batman, 
Silver Surfer, The Last Days of Silver Surfer, number 13. Three bucks. The Last Days of Silver Surfer. What was this one? I'm going to leave that up one more round. That one's gone. There we go. Web Warriors, number two, Marvel Comics, first cover, first print, three bucks. Web Warriors, number two. We're at 14 viewers. We should do more. That would be better. If we get to 25, we're giving this away. Five DC Comics for five bucks. Deadshot Beginnings, number one, five dollars. Way underpriced. Deadshot Beginnings, number one. Titans Index, the official Teen Titans Index, number one of five. Three bucks. Going right there. Amazing Spider-Man Learning to Crawl, number 1.2. Three bucks. When I say Amazing Spider-Man, and three dollars, you say yes if you're a serious comic book collector. Steed and Peel did not sell for three. Man, I did not see that coming. Detective Comics Batman for three bucks. Wow, we are passing on some good books today. But that's okay. They'll look good on the uh, website as well. Detective Comics 609. Very fine plus. $3. That's okay. They'll look good on the website as well. I hope you guys are visiting the website, seeing the deals we have there. Our website is at Mad Ox Comics. That's plural. C O M I C S. M A D O X C O M I C S dot com. Now is not the time to visit there. Now is the time to stay here and buy stuff from us. Here is Vampirella number six. Three bucks. That should sell in about 30 seconds. Silver Surfer is a no-go at three dollars. That is crazy talk. Web Warriors at three bucks also. Nope. Let's see what else we got here. What can we put up in those spots? Wolverine number 107. Oh, yeah. Wolverine number 107 for five bucks. It has a seven dollar price tag on it. It is in near mint condition. Captain America 374. Near mint. Four dollars. Captain America 374 near mint. Four bucks. There's that DC five for five. Deadshot beginnings number one. Nobody wants that. I'll put that aside. Generation Gone, number one. Nobody wants that. Put that aside. Let me find some more cool stuff. I got a whole box of cool stuff, man. I mean, you know, no big deal. No big deal. All right, three bucks for Spawn, number 181. Near Mint. Avengers. Oh, no, I'm just putting that aside. Green Hornet, number two. Green Hornet number two from Dynamite Comics, three bucks. I now have five random marbles. One of which never saw the light of day before. Five marbles for five bucks. Five M. Five 
dollars. Spawn 181 for three to Craig. Thanks, Craig. Ugh. Man, oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I got a bunch of DC stacking up over here. I don't know what to do with. All right, here's what I'm going to do on the DC. Six for five. DC or six, six books for five dollars. I'm going to add one more to this one because this five five DC is now becoming a six DC for f for five bucks. Six DC for five. I got a five dollar table in the store. If we don't sell those on here, I'll just put them in the five dollar table, and that's cool. That'd be good for school kids anyway. Has get some cheap comics. Thanks, Craig. You got one of those? I have a Multiversity the Just. This is like they were trying to be cool and all stuff. Like, oh, this is gonna be like, you know. Uh, teen magazine or something kind of thing the just it's about the justice league but i guess it's like the young justice league it's got all these it's horrible it's probably the worst comic ever made two bucks what's that you like the idea of that me too until i you know wasn't high anymore and then i was like ew now <laughs> then you have no excuse young lady Justice League United, number zero, DC, New 52, badassedness. We're putting this puppy out for just three bucks. It should sell instantly at three bucks. Just saying. Just saying. Dark Knight Metal tie -ins. Man, we sold through hundreds of those on uh, Friday. On on Tuesday, and we don't have any more. I have more copies of that one. It's the only one I have left. The only one. Tuesdays, uh, I'm at 4 o'clock, 3, 3.30, 4 o'clock. As soon as we're done, we start selling our, our, our new comics. Uh, you should tune in at 4. We get really into the new comics uh, pre-sale on Tuesday at 7. But sometimes we get a few in even earlier. You should definitely tune in for that if you're interested in new comics. Because we crank through them, man. We do. We sell some stuff. That's what we do. Ooh, nice. This is Hunter Strike. This is a special lenticular cover. Hunter Counter Strike. I don't even know what the publisher is on this. You can see it's a very shiny lenticular style cover. Foil, I guess, was a more accurate term. Chromium. All right, we'll call it chromium. We're going to put that out for three bucks. <sighs> Having a heck of a time today. Heck of a time. I don't believe that I would, but I am starved, so yes, I'll take one. Literally starving. Oh, my God. I haven't had breakfast yet. Ah! Me and my stomach acid are over here having a fight. Thank you. Thank you. Have you ever gotten the ones that are Fruit Loops? No, but I got the Fruit Loops ones. Oh, man. The Fruit Loops ones are like, uh. Mmm. Thank you, Craig. Here is New 52 Dead Man number four for two bucks.
Here is Ghost Rider number three. Ghost Rider number three for three bucks. Oh, yeah. This is Lady Death lingerie uh, issue. You might as well call this the swimsuit issue. It's literally just pictures of Lady Death in lingerie. Well, it could be both. Walking Dead, number 135, near mint, four bucks. Yeah. Uncanny X Men number three oh nine for three bucks. Gonna go ahead and move these magic that were requested that nobody actually wants. Marvel five for five, five Marvel for five bucks. Amazing Spider Man. X Men for three to Nicholas. Thanks, Nicholas. Here is Batman 571, near mint condition, right there, $3. Black Panther. Black Panther number seven. Put that out of three bucks. Here's a really nice Captain Marvel Bronze Age 25 cent cover, number 41. Great looking book. Really a nice one. I'm going to call that very fine. We put that out at uh, six bucks. Vampirella number four. I'm sorry, number five for four bucks. Evolution, number one, Ash Can. We had it to 19 and marked it down to 12. Now it's at 8 bucks. The Walking Dead, we're going to leave that out at 4. Give that another round. Uh, Batman 571 for 3, nobody wants. That can go to the website, I think. Amazing Spider Man, number 11. It's marked $10 here on the price tag here. I'm going to put it out at 5 Wolverines, number 10, Six DC Comics for five dollars. Another one of those little lot of dues. I'm sorry. Not sure we have a Batman for three out. You see one? The Batman for three has already been pulled. Sorry.
a brand new mint. I'm pulling you one out of the pile that no human being has touched yet. There you go. Four bucks. Thank you much. Another Batman for four to Daniel. We got several of those. Yeah, Daniel, if I took it down after you asked, it's because we didn't, your comment didn't come through yet. I don't throw comics away after people want to buy them. It's just a bad policy. I'm going to give you that one, Daniel. Daniel Troutman. You can have this one for free. Yep. Nightwing, number three, new 52, three bucks. That's way underpriced, guys. Vertigo, War Story, number one, three bucks. Superman, six ninety five, three dollars. Your mint. All right, this Captain Marvel, number twenty, number 41, 25 cent Bronze Age cover in fine condition. I'm going to mark it down from six to just three. That's why I gave it to you for free, Danny, or Daniel. Um, I have five indie books. It took us a while to go through enough indie books to get one bundle together. Five indie books, not Marvel, not DC. Five books, five bucks. I can't believe we didn't get that four bucks out of that Walking Dead. Six DC for five to see Stephen. Thank you. I've got another one of those. Captain Marvel for three to Craig. This is Hawkeye number eight for three bucks. This is Flash number 30 from 1989, so 28 years old, 5 bucks, near mint. Amazing Spider-Man, 389 for 3 bucks. When I say Amazing Spider-Man for 3 bucks, you say yes. for the snack, Tosh.
spawn 170. Marked seven bucks. We marked it down to four. <clears throat> I might be. I mean, I'm just going through a blind box of stuff uh, that has been offered before. There were some uh, um, some Silver Age in here and some Silver Age Marvel, so I don't know. Here's a Bronze Age Jonah Hex, number 84. Very fine plus. Four bucks. Batman Shadow of the Bat number 82 for three bucks. I got a spawn here, number 169 for three bucks. Five Indy for five, six DC for five. Five marble for five. Really? We're not going to get five bucks out of that flash? That is definitely going on the website. <coughs> Amazing Spider Man for three won't go. That's a definite website addition. Another Spider Man. Five bucks. Right. Gives us some room. Flash 341, 75 cent Bronze Age. New 52, Justice League of America, number two, variant cover, three bucks. Suicide Squad, most wanted, Deadshot and Katana, three bucks. Was previously marked five and a quarter. Odd number to be marked. Battlestar Galactica number one, four bucks. Is that from Image? Star Force. Maximum Comics. Layfield cover. Layfield, Layfield. Grizzly Shark versus She Bear. Oh, it is Sea Bear. All right. Grizzly Shark versus Sea Bear. It makes no more sense with that title than it did before. Number three from Image. Sandman, The Dollhouse, Part 5, Issue Number 14, First Cover, First Print, Four Bucks. Batman 670, I'm sorry, Batman in Detective Comics 670, Near Mint, Three Bucks. Should we close it and restart? We don't seem to be getting many hits. Yeah, I'm for it. Oh, hold on. Uh, just a second. Uh, we are going to give away this freebie as soon as we uh, close down and restart. Uh, somebody wants Batman for four. Oh. We're going to close down and restart. Please be with us when we reopen. When we hit 15 viewers, we're going to give this away immediately.
Anything you want right now, grab it real quick. They'll still be out there when we open back up, but if you want it right now, grab quick because we are going to shut down and restart, see if we can't get a, a few more viewers by uh, having a fresh feed. This sometimes works, and we can get as many as triple our, uh, our viewership. So we're going to give that a shot. Go ahead, Tox. Follow us on the on to the next feed, and we're going to give this away right away. bad. Let's fix it. All right. As soon as we hit uh, 12 people, we're going to give this away. Another six DC for five to Stephen. There we go. Thanks, Stephen. Appreciate that. We're at seven viewers. We're about to give this book away. Please hit like and share to get in on uh, on the giveaway on this. We're going to give this book away here very shortly. We're at eight viewers. We only got to get to twelve. We're at eight viewers. Nine viewers. Share right away. Share. Get in the drawing. When we get to twelve viewers, we're giving this away to somebody. We're at 10. We're at 11. We're back to 10. <laughs> Nine. All right. We need to be at 12 viewers, and I'm going to give this book away. All you have to do is like, comment, share, share to the public, share to your page, share to your groups, share to your friends, invite your mom, invite your best buddy, invite your worst friend, invite your best enemy, invite people. We're at 9. We're at 10. We only have to be at 12, and I'm going to give this book away. As soon as we hit 12 and we're back to 9, I'm going to set this down. I'm tired of talking about it. I'm going to put out stuff. As soon as we hit 12, Tasha, let me know. Still at 10 on Tasha's screen. Still at 10 on my screen. I'm making another 6 DC. We're at 11. We're at 12. Give it away, Tosh. Tosh is about to post who won it. I just want you to post it. You don't have to tell me or nothing. This book has been given away free to someone. Free, free, free. This is a $15 I Hate Image uh, special cover. Who won it? Craig Connett Sr. got this for free. Craig, if you haven't bought anything today, you may as well go ahead and buy it because we don't cover free shipping. But that book is coming to you free. It's going in your hold. Yep, yep, yep. Get, get, yeah. All right. Suicide Squad, most wanted, number, uh, nobody wants that. I'm just going to take that and put it away. Nobody wants that. Let me get another book. Wow. This one is awesome. This is Shadowhawk 3. Number one from Image. Dun, 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 dun. When I say Image number one for three bucks, you say yes. That's the general rule of comic. Image number ones for three bucks are always a yes. Whoa, here is a nice Vampirella cover for three. Vampirella number 13. There we go, three bucks. Bam, what do we got here? Grizzly Shark Sea Bear. Really? I'm going to let that go around one more time. I just think that's a cool one. All right, there's Battlestar Galactica. It is coming off the board. Uh, yeah, Battlestar Galactica number one did not sell for four dollars. That's crazy, dog. Y'all are crazy. All right, let's see what else we got. Wow! Oh! Detective Comics number six twenty-five in fine condition. Not very fine, just fine. Two bucks. Two bucks. Yeah. Going in the 
Put it on the website page. Slot. Pile. Cyberforce from Image. Uh, Cyberforce number zero. This has the same rule as number one. When you can get an image number one or zero for three bucks, you just say yes. Just say yes to comics, Nancy Reagan told us. All right, five indie for five bucks. Six DC for five bucks. Five Marvel for five bucks. Those are good lots out there. Oh, Batman. Detective Comics for three bucks. Nobody bought that. I'm putting it down. Putting it down. Like a rabid dog. Like a stray cat. Putting it down. I just said that to irritate Tasha, but I hurt her feelings and said, instead. I apologize, Tasha. This is Quasar. This is a Marvel comic for two bucks. Quasar number 25. Can you believe Quasar went for 25 issues? That seems weird. Dead again. Superman, Man of Steel, number 40. He's going out for three bucks. Yeah. Bam. What do we got here? Oh, nobody bought the image number one for three bucks. That'll go on the website. I can't I can't put image number ones into uh, crap piles. Can't do it. I just just can't do it. Oh, I just put that out. Lost my my caboose of thought. I know a lot of people say train of thought, but I I've, I've only got a caboose. That's all I got. All right, Spawn from Image, number 182. This is some of the hard ones. This is these, When they got into the 160s to 180s, they only really printed as many as were ordered, and so a lot of times they, they were very scarce because the popularity went down, and so collectors of Spawn have a hard time finding those. If I take it down and put it on the website, I'm going to put it up for like five or six bucks because it's just, it's just better that way. It's just, it's just better for everyone. Here's the new 52 futures in number one. Four bucks. Bam. Really? Detective Comics for two bucks. Could not sell it. Grizz Grizzly Shark versus Sea Bear. Also, won't go for three. I'm going to save that tag. That's what I'm going to do. Let's see what I got here. I got, I got four Marvels back here. As soon as I find a Marvel, I can put it in a bundle. I can make another Marvel bundle. Let's see what we got here. This here is Wolverine Exile number three. All right. Bam. Spawn for three to Craig. Thank you, Craig. Green Arrow, early uh, modern age, dollar seventy-five co cover, issue number sixty-nine, near mint. Three bucks for that Green Arrow. Three bucks. Three bucks. Three bucks. Three bucks. Yeah. Oh, I got five DC for five bucks right here. I don't even know what's in it. I'm going to take another DC and tape it to the outside. And that's going to be a six DC for five bucks. Yeah. It's, it's a bundle from another day. I just added a comic to it. That is a good deal. Six DC, five bucks. Yep. Boom. Six DC, five bucks. Five Indy, five bucks. Five Marvel, five bucks. Man, we got some deals are rolling out here. Oh, I got another one of these lingerie issues from Lady Death. Lady Death in lingerie. It's just a whole bunch of pictures of Lady Death in lingerie. No story. There's a centerfold. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Dude, boy, I'll tell you what. I would have to rate this three thumbs up. That's right. Five dollars. Bam. Wow, Quasar wouldn't sell. That is amazing. You can't believe we couldn't get $2 out of Quasar. Superman, Man of Steel. That's a no-go. Nobody wants Man of Steel. Let's see what we got here. How about BPRD 
Uh, this is BPRD number two, the Black Goddess. Seems racist. Three bucks. Also, uh, also, <laughs> also, Earth Two, the new Fifty Two. I better knock it off while I'm ahead. Uh, number four for three bucks. Batman Death Machine for four. Very good. Appreciate that. We got lots of the Batman Death Machine right back here. Never been touched by human hands. Near mint, perfect condition. Great shit. People asked about Silver Age earlier. She's starting to get a little dizzy. <sighs> Probably true. Need to breathe. Anyway, here is Daredevil number 24. You talk about Silver Age. This is a 12 cent Daredevil. And he is guest starring. Kazar the Great. He doesn't look like he's a guest, though. He's about to throw him off a building. That ain't nice. I've had company over. No one's ever thrown me off a building before. I know what ain't nice is, and that ain't nice. Green Arrow number 43. Three bucks. Boom, right there. What? Really? Wolverine Exile wouldn't sell for three bucks. That seems weird. Me? What are you going to do? Here's a Hawkeye. I'm going to put this Hawkeye out for two. Hawkeye, number two, two bucks. Here's a Star Wars, number 13, second printing. I'm going to put it out for three. Here's a Punisher, number four. Punisher, number four. Bronze Age, near mint, eight bucks. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm going to put these down front. These lots are five dollars each. Five indie. Five indie lots for five bucks. We'll lay it right here. DC lots. For five dollars. Six DC for five dollars. Take this five Marvel lot for five bucks. Right there. Very nice. Gives me a little more room to put out more stuff. Here is a uh, All-Star Batman number 13 for three bucks. That's a couple dollars off of the cover price. Here's a Red Lanterns number five from the new 52. Three bucks. Here is a Bronze Age. The Thing versus the Inhumans. Bronze Age, 60 cent cover. I'm going to put this out for eight bucks. Punisher for eight. This is for eight. That was to Nicholas Oliveira. Oliveira. I'm not trying to mispronounce that, buddy. I'm just a dumb white guy. It's hard for me to, mis to pronunciate names other than like Smith and Jones and King and shit. Ignorance, not malice, is what I'm saying. All right, so we got Red Hood and the Outlaws here, number three from the New 52. It's near mint. It's a beautiful looking book. You got Robin, Starfire. I think that's Deathstroke or Death, Deadshot, not sure which. Uh, Red Arrow. What's that guy called? Is it Red Hood? Guys, not Green Arrow, but Red Arrow. Anyway, good looking book. Three bucks. I'm I'm looking to make a deal on the entire board right now. If you want something quick, grab it quick. Otherwise, I'm going to total up the board and try to sell the board in one lot. We got $53 in books up here. $53 in books. 
I will take the board. The whole board. The whole board. For 30 Thirty dollars on the board. Anybody want the board for thirty? The whole board for thirty bucks. You, anybody can claim a single book, unless somebody claims the board. Right now, the whole board is thirty bucks. You can still claim a single if you want. I can always put a new book up and, or just just address just the price if somebody buys a single book. The whole board. I got five DC books right here. Five DC books. Green Arrow 69, Superman 40, Batman Detective number 625, Su Suicide Squad number 3, Red Hood Arsenal number 2. I'm going to include those five books in the board for 30 bucks. Everything's showing but plus those five books just 30 bucks. Who wants the whole board for 30? Including that 20 that 12 cent uh uh, Daredevil right there, which is marked 20 by itself. $30 for the whole board. All right, how about 25 for the whole board? Ah. I'm going to let that go for a couple minutes. 25 for the whole board, including the $20 uh, pun, uh, Daredevil right there. 25 for the whole board. And then I'm going to go ahead and put up some new stuff. Board 25. All right. Give me all the $3 price tags back because I'm selling a lot of stuff for 3 bucks, And it's just a, it's a lot for... 25, so I'll reuse all these tags. Thank you. Thank you much. All right, let me put some stuff out. This is I Am Groot, number three, for three bucks. Here is Green Lantern Corps, Blackest Night Green Lantern Corps, 44, three bucks. This is Extermination, part one. Number one for three bucks. Here's, here is Wolverine. No, I'm not putting that one back up. Here is action number four. Action from the New 52, number four, the debut of Steel. Three bucks. Here is Batgirl, number 32, Goth Greetings from Gotham City. Just three bucks. The Walking Dead 133 Impending Doom. Eight dollars. Superman Bronze Age 60 cent cover. Number 365. This is Superman 365. Six bucks. This is The High Cost of Living Death. Number one by Neil Gaiman. Gaiman? Gaiman? I'm going to put that out for six bucks. Batman, Bronze Age, 75 cent cover, number 402, in very fine plus condition. I'm going to put that one out for seven. Seven dollars. Nice looking book. And one million. This is by DC Comics. Morrison, Cynix, and Rollins. DC 1 million. It is, uh, it's, it says November, and the year is listed as 85271. That's a, that's a while from now. Uh, but it is issue 1 million. I guess they calculated when issue 1 million would come out. There it is. So there we go. Who's got what luck?
refreshing our devices real quick because uh, we're not seeing any comments. We think we may have been missing some, so we're giving it a little refresherment here. Make sure we're not missing anybody's comments. If you've claimed something, we haven't pulled it for you yet. The last comment we see is when Josh Tullis took the board at 25. If you've tried to claim anything since then, we have not seen it. Give us another try. Yep, yep. I will sell the board right now for 25 if anybody wants the board. The whole board for 25 That's $45 worth of books for just $25 if anybody wants it. If anybody wants it. Guess I'm going to do another Marvel lot. Five books for five bucks. Fresh Marvel lot. Five books for five bucks. Marvel lot, five books, five bucks. I got a couple of them right here if you want one. I got six DC books for five bucks, or five indie books for five bucks. That's going to be stuff like Valiant and Image and Dark Horse and anything else. Won't be Marvel or DC, although occasionally a Vertigo gets in there. I don't think there's any in that one, but sometimes that happens. Yep, yep. All right, we are up to 10 viewers. We got the board right now for 25. Are any of the books up there Mike, marked as priced? Priced as marked. All right, we are up to 10 viewers. We've got the board right now for 25. We'll put up Venomverse number three variant cover. Organizing some of my stick R's over here. I like to reuse them. We go through, through so many uh, price tags here. These, you know, these post-it notes. There we go. Still got a few out here on the board I can work with. All right, so what's that one for eight bucks? Wow, The Walking Dead 133. Yeah, I can't sell that at less than that. Let me put something else out there. Tell you what I'm going to do. Tell you what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Everything that's out right now that are all these singles, all these single books, uh, two bucks each. Two bucks each. You can only claim one at a time unless you claim whole board two dollars each. You can just say I'll take the board for two bucks a piece and grab all of them that are out, or you can claim one book at a time for two bucks each. We may have lost so many viewers that we're gonna have to give it up, Tosh. We're not even selling stuff when we offered it two bucks. Are we even? Uh, are we even still live? I mean, I'm hearing myself. Right. All the books that are showing are two dollars a piece. Everything's two bucks. We got what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight, nine. All right. We'll do the whole board for ten dollars. That's nine books for ten bucks. Who wants it? Right?
if we can get to 25 viewers by 2 o'clock, we're going to give away 20 books to one viewer. Doesn't look like we're going to make that. We're currently at 10. We would have to grow 150% to get there. But anything's possible. Who wants the board for 10 bucks? What do you think happened to it? What do you think happened to it? Did we break it? <laughs> Less people, how much people are buying. I see what you're saying. So currently everything that is showing is two bucks a piece. Two bucks a piece. All these books. Let's go over them again. Action number four from the new 52. Two bucks. Thanks, Craig. There you go. All right, I'm going to put out another, uh, I'm going to put out more books. I'm not going to price any because they're all two bucks. Everything I'm going to put out now is two dollars a piece. Wolverine X-Men 35, two bucks. Uh, Bronze Age, the Saga of Crystar, number two, two bucks. Superman, DC Universe Rebirth, number 27, two bucks. Star Wars, number 11, first print, two bucks. Justice League, number 25 from the DC Universe Rebirth, two bucks. By Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, I don't see a number on this, uh, two bucks. Nightwing, number 18, for two bucks. Green Lantern Emerald Dawn 2, number 5, two bucks. You'll have to grab it. I don't know what SW is even. Oh, okay. FBP, it's over here probably. FBP number 10 for two bucks. Landau number two, two bucks. Flash, number 22. Nah, I'm going to put that on the website for five. Sandman. I don't know what number this is. I'm going to put Sandman on the website anyway. Here is Grifter, number three, for two bucks. Who's getting what for two bucks? I've got no new comments. I didn't even see the board for $10 in mine. Did you? I didn't get anything on my phone. Not getting it. Not getting it. Let's see what we got here. See if I can find the feed again. Oh, there we go. Board for 10, Star Wars for 2. Very nice. All right. I update a little bit. What do we got out there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We got 10 books out there, 2 bucks a piece. Or the board for 12. Board for 12. If anybody wants a board. Where's that at? Is that in the close up window? Yeah. Thank you. All the stuff not in the close-up window is two bucks a piece or the whole board for twelve. If we can sell the board for twelve, I can set it up again. Got to get twelve out of it though, really. We got lots of cool stuff. Lots of cool stuff to put out. Dollar twenty a book is. Good for us. Twelve bucks for ten books, or two dollars a piece. Two bucks a piece. Two bucks a piece. Grab anything you want out here on display for two bucks a piece, except for the lots in the close-up window. In the close-up window. We also have five Marvel for five bucks, six DC for five bucks, or five indie books for five bucks.
Oh, sure. There we go. We did get you one of those Batmans. We got a few left back here. Batman the Murderous Machine. Well, we're down to about six. Also have some Walking Dead back here, number 172. They're three bucks a piece. In fact, maybe I'll put a couple of those in the close-up window real quick. Give people a chance for uh, The Walking Dead Hilltop Reborn. Three bucks a piece. Hilltop Reborn right there for three dollars. Tried it already? I don't know what you mean. No. Okay. All right. Probably was something somebody claimed and they didn't get it in their pull. All right. So how about the board for ten bucks? The whole board for ten bucks. Board for ten. I'm gonna sit down. Let you guys either uh, buy some stuff or buy the whole board or you know let me take a nap. Either way. I actually want a cheeseburger. And I know the exact restaurant I want it from, and it's eight hours from here. Yeah, it's in Michigan. Speed's Restaurant in Urbandale. They've got the best fucking french fries anywhere ever. Nathan gets a Batman medal. We got Batman Metal out. We got Walking Dead out for three. Number 172 for three bucks. It's a good deal. We got everything on the board showing for two dollars a piece or ten dollars for the board. Somebody save me. Buy the board for ten bucks. That is at least thirty dollars worth of books for just ten bucks. Come on now. Come on now and say yeah, 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 yeah. Thirty dollars worth bucks for the board. Nine bucks plus you have to put Marcus King is awesome. Nathan a Batman for four? Yeah. Okay. And Rain? Yeah. Board nine, nine, Marcus King is awesome. Thanks, Craig. You're pretty awesome yourself. I'm just saying. Good looking, too. Oh. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Man. It's getting rough around here, man. All right. I'm going to put some $3 stuff out. This is brand new Suicide Squad number 26. This is a tie-in for... Uh, Gotham Resistance, and Dark Knight Metal tie-in. We're putting it out at the cover price. Suicide Squad, just three bucks. Woo -woo. Three bucks. Right there. Yeah, I know the three is sideways. I got that. Um, here, this is a cool poster. Let's see what it is. This is a poster of The Punisher. The Punisher number 218 Marvel Legacy poster. This is one of those one-per-store uh, posters. We're supposed to put them in our windows, but um, we use our windows for things like actual advertising. So we often sell these posters, these promotional posters. Suicide Squad for three to Rain. Thank you, Rain. Appreciate it. So this is the Punisher poster. I'm going to sell this Punisher poster for five bucks. It's in a bag and board to ship it without it getting all crinkled up and stuff. I uh, wrote on the bag and board, not on the poster, of course. This is Guardians of the Galaxy number 11. It's brand new as of day before, you, well, yesterday. Brand new as of yesterday. This is the variant. We're not going to put it out for four bucks. That's the cover price. Uh, here is Archie, the Archies, number one. 
this is which chase variant is this this is the fourth chase variant on the Archie's number one the cover price on this was a hundred dollars no forty no four dollars cover price is four dollars it will be bagged and boarded before I ship it to you should you buy it here again Batman Dark Knight metal four bucks a piece yeah that's right I'm gonna put one up who fun booster poster Punisher poster thanks Nicholas appreciate you buddy Here is Arkham Manor Endgame number one. Arkham Manor Endgame number one. We've only had this in stock a little while. It is near mint. It was laying here uh, unbagged and boarded. I have bagged and boarded it. We are treating it with the respect it deserves. Arkham Manor Endgame number one. Just five bucks. That's right. Just five bucks. Here is Pink Panther number one. Pink Panther number one. Uh, this is from Free Comic Book Day. Celebrating 15 years. I'm going to put that out at just three bucks. Here is Hardware number one from DC Comics. Hardware number one. This is from a few years ago. Let me see if I can find the year on this one. It's a dollar fifty cover price, so that's got to be late 90s. I'm going to put it out at 5 bucks. Hardware number one. That might be a $25 book. I don't know. I don't really know. Uh, how about... Oh, I like Sable. First Comics Deluxe Series Sable number 38. I'm going to put that out at 4 bucks. I only got one book left in this box over here. Let me see what that is. Star Wars Kanan Last Padawan. Fair enough. I'm just putting that out at 2 Yeah. Two bucks on that one. Yeah, yeah. Get, get, yeah. Here is the crossovers by CGE Comics. Um, this is number three. Putting it out for three. And uh, let's get one more comic up here on the board uh, before I start talking about a board deal. Oh, Nightwing number 24, Near Mint. This puppy is just about perfect. It's suitable for grading. You'd have to have it signed by somebody, I guess. Dixon, McDaniel, and Story did the uh, artwork and uh, writing on this book. It is a $1.99 uh, cover price. So that puts it somewhere right around 2001, 2003, I would guess. Um, I mean, it's not really anything special, but it is near mint. I'll put it out for three. Three bucks. There we go. Got some good stuff out. Who's getting what? Who's getting what? Yeah, Suicide Squad for three, Punisher poster for five. We already got those. What's up, Jason Castle? Good to see you. If you have a son, are you going to name him Frank? I'm just saying. Hello, Eric Silverio. Good to see you, buddy. We got some good stuff going on here. We've done a we've done a pretty um, brisk business in uh, cheap books for most of the day. We're getting away, getting ready to do a giveaway at two o'clock. I'm going to give away the number of books of viewers we have. Yeah. We got 100 viewers. Somebody's going to get drawn for 100 books. I'm looking at my clock over there, and I got three minutes. Three minutes. I don't know what my phone says, but the clock on the wall says three minutes. In three minutes, I'm pulling that. We're going to give away the number of books of the number of viewers we have, whatever that number is. We're going to pull a viewer. Tosh will pull a viewer at random, and they will get it. Here's what you have to do to be in the drawing, though. You have to post right now, I want free books. You only need to post it once. doesn't matter if you post it more than once. You have to post, I want free books, and you have to share. I want free books and share the feed, and you're in the drawing. Tosh is going to pull the name of somebody who has said, I want free books. And the number of free books that person is going to get is the same number of viewers as we have when my clock over there. I've got two minutes and 15 seconds. I got three people in the drawing. I got four people in the drawing. Make sure you share. Got four people in the drawing. I got five people in the drawing. I got six people in the drawing. Yeah, keep going. Seven people in the drawing. This looks good. Eight people in the drawing. I like it. 
Keep going. Tasha says hers, hers are coming through faster than mine. Yeah. Keep liking and sharing. We're up to 17. We're up to 18. We got two, one minute and 45 seconds left before we, do, before we give away books. And it's going to be one book for every viewer we have. One book for every viewer we have. I guess we will top that out at 100. If we go over 100, we're just going to give away 100 books. We got 18 viewers right now, 19 viewers right now. We got a minute and 25 seconds left. Yep, I'm going to start counting up some books back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I got seven books right here. Eight, nine, ten. We got ten books. We got ten books. We got one minute mark now. One minute. That's how many we're going to give away. I got ten already set aside. I got ten books set aside. You can buy a book right now. Buy anything you want. Is that Nightwing three bucks? Sure, we got a night, Nightwing for three bucks. Why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. I want three books, says Nicholas Oliveria. I got 16 books sitting back here right now. We got 18 viewers. We got 25 seconds coming up for this freebie. Tasha is good. Get ready, Tasha. We're going to pull that name in just a few seconds, but it has to be between one and how many other people have shared that they want free books. How many people we got entered, Tasha? Uh, got, got about 13 people, maybe 15 people entered in the free drawing right now. You have to hit, I want free books, and you have to share the feed right now. You got five seconds. I want free books. Three, two, one, boom, 19 books. We're going to give away 19 books. In fact, I'm going to make it 20. 20 books. That's what we're going to give away. 20 books. Yeah, you write it and hand it to me. I had 16 books laying here. I'm going to add in this Harley meets Betty and Veronica 9.99 variant we've been selling. That makes it 17, 18, 19, and 20. I'm pulling three more out of this box over here we just bought. Nightwing, Superman, Superman. 20 books. That's what we're giving away. Tasha's about to give me the name of the winner. Stephen Wallace. Stephen Wallace. You are the winner of 20 books. 20 books. You won it. These are the books right here. 20 books. I'm going to wrap some tape around them. You have to pay the shipping on them. Shipping is $5.95. Obviously, if you, are, if you can buy up to 10 more books with that, uh, we ship up to 30 books. For five ninety five, Stephen Wallace, Stephen Wallace, you are the winner. Here we go, Yippee Kaye. All right, I'm gonna sell the board now. We got some good stuff up here. We got this uh, Batman the Murder Machine number one up here. We've got Archie number one up here. No, I'm not gonna sell the board yet. I'm gonna go ahead and sell some books. Who's buying some stuff? Everything up here is priced as marked. Joshua, the, the correct the correct answer when we give away books is congratulations to the winner, not, oh, I didn't win. Guardians of the Galaxy, number 11, variant edition, right there for 4 bucks. Nightwing, number 24, for just $3. Yeah, we got a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to sit down. You guys pick some books. I'll put up stuff to replace those as they sell. Already got some stuff today. Can you all put it with them? Yeah, absolutely. Rain wants a Batman for four. Yay, Batman for four to Rain. Thank you. Still got Archie up here for four bucks. And I have a Superman family, giant size. Um, it's number 215 from Superman family. Um, it's $1, probably late Bronze Age, but it could be a modern age uh, book. It is in fine plus condition, really old. This is late nine. This is late eighties or ninety ninety one. I'm gonna put that out for five bucks. We might reprice some stuff. Let's see what we got here. 
Batman Arkham Manor. Nobody wants that for five. I'm going to put it down, put it in the we put it on the website. We have Batman number two. Batman number two. Two bucks. We got Pink Panther number one. Two bucks. Yep, hardware is going on the website. Bless you, Tosh. Absolutely. I'll be right on that. Here is a Walking Dead 158. I'm going to put it out for three bucks. Walking Dead 158 is going out for three. Then I'm going to show that Superman family up close, unless somebody grabs it first. Bagged and boarded Walking Dead 158, three bucks right there we go. All right, I got some more comics coming up here real shortly. Venomverse for four bucks to rain. Thank you. That was our last one of that one. Thank you. I'm going to. Rom from Marvel. One dollar. Early modern age comic. I'm going to put it out at just three bucks. Boom. Can't believe y'all didn't buy that Walking Dead for three. That is well below the current value on that. Star Wars Kanan for two won't go. Wow. All right. I had this out before. It was four Star Wars books for four for five bucks. I'm going to add this Star Wars to it. This is five Star Wars books for five bucks. Five S W five dollars right there. Bam. All right, see what we got here. This is Marvel Age of Apocalypse, six of six for three dollars. This is Toy Boy, number seven. Jason Kreider, Toy Boy, number seven for three bucks. That's near mint. I'm now putting together a lot of um, uh, what do you call these? Independents. I got an Eclipse comic. A CGE comic, a first comic, a top cow, and an epic comic. That is some random ass independent comics. Five indie for five bucks. Yes. The DC uh, is six books for five bucks, and they are random comics. There will be no duplicates. And it looks like I only have one left out there. Yeah. Man. 
All right, so let's sell the board. Let's sell the board. I'm not going to leave the five Star Wars uh, in the board. Instead, I will put out a Captain America number 12. Brew Baker, Epting, Lark, D'Amato. Uh, that is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten books. Ten books, including the Superman. If you want that Superman real quick, you better grab it. And the brand new Archie's number four, number one. That is brand. You know, I'm going to take that down. We're going to put that on the new rack. Instead, I'll put out a Superman number 679. All right. I'm going to auction the board. Auction the board starting at eight bucks. Who wants to go eight bucks on the board at an auction? Eight dollars on the board as an auction. We'll start the bidding at eight bucks. We'll go up from there. Who wants to start the board at eight bucks? Eight bucks for the board. Eight bucks for the board. Eight bucks for the board. Board 15 to Nathan. That is a strong bid, Nathan. I appreciate that. Anybody want to go 16 on the board? 16 on the board. 16 on the board. 16 on the board. Going twice to Nathan at 15. Is he a regular customer? Very good. Sold to Nathan for $15. Thanks, Nathan. Oh, you got the Groot number 11 variant. Nice. Good stuff here. Thank you much for uh, the purchase. You got the board for $15. Let me pull all these down for you. There you go. Get those together snug. Put, put them in a magazine box if you can. Or a magazine bag, I mean. Nice, nice. So this is Captain America number 13 for three bucks. Bam. Detective Comics 878 for four bucks. Boom. Batman number 647 for three. Black Canary number four. For two bucks. Astonishing X Men Josh Whedon story. Uh, Astonishing X Men number 15 for four bucks. X Men number 191 for three bucks. Cloak and Dagger Bronze Age number three. For three bucks. Five Star Wars for five to who? Craig? Thanks, Craig. This is Knockout. Not Knockout. Number six from Vertigo. Put it out for three. This is Thor. Number 365. And, uh, might be the first appearance of somebody pretty important. I'm not sure. It's a Bronze Age 35 cent. I'm going to put it out for four bucks. Nicholas gets what? Cloak and Dagger. Bronze Age Cloak and Dagger for three. Nice. This is, this is California Out There. Number seven. By Cliffhanger Comics. Two bucks. Blue Devil. This is a Bronze Age. What is? Thor for four to Nicholas. There you go. This is X Factor number eight from the Civil War for three bucks. Ten bucks. Ten books out there. You guys buy them up quick. I'll put some more replacements out there, and then we'll do another uh, board auction. Don't mind doing them at all. Perfect. 
Sold the four, Thor for four to Nicholas, the cloak and dagger for three to Nick uh, to Nicholas also. Damn, Nicholas, you be grinding them up, buddy. I appreciate that. Captain America, 13 for three right here. Detective, 878 for four. Black Canary, number four of four for two. Batman, 647 for three bucks. All these other comics out front. Black Canary for two. To Ed. We'll put out a Ghost Rider for two. Ghost Rider number three for two bucks right there. All right, so let's auction the board. We'll start the board at 10. 10 books, 10 bucks. Who wants to buy the board at 10? This is an auction. I'm going to take down the prices. I'm going to do them at an auction. I like to reuse the price tags when I can. Auction for 10. Who wants the board for a starting bid of 10 bucks? Starting bid of 10 bucks for the board. Wants to start us off at just ten dollars. About thirty-five dollars with the books out there. Who wants to start at ten? Lissette starts it at ten. Who wants to go twelve? Do I hear twelve dollars for the board? We have an opening bid of ten dollars. Do I have twelve dollars for the board? Do I hear twelve dollars? Opening bid of 10. Do I hear 12? Last call. Sold. $10 to Lissette. Thank you, Lissette. Appreciate that. We'll get some more books out here real quick. Wow, you got that that astonishing X Men in that lot. That was a good dealio. Yeah, ten bucks for ten bucks is always a good deal. Always a good deal. Ten bucks, ten bucks to Lisette. Thank you much. Hey, here is a Bronze Age Superman number twenty three from November of nineteen eighty eight. $4. Here is a Batman number 653. Batman 653. Year one later. $2. Here's a Streets of Gotham number one from an all new monthly series. Let me bag and board this beautiful little bean footage. Eight bucks. Eight bucks for Streets of Gotham number one. Let's see what else we got. X-Men 184. Near Mint. Five bucks. Power Pack, number four of four. Power Pack, no more. Three bucks. Johnny Quest from Comico. Three bucks. Robotech, number 14 from Comico. Uh, we sell these all the time in the store for ten bucks a piece. 
This one is very fine plus. Uh, that would absolutely go for 10 bucks in the store. Here's Fantastic Four number 21 for $3. We have Green Lantern number four from October of 05. We'll put that out for two bucks. And a Superman Batman number 12 from September 2004. Who's getting what? What's up, Chase? Michael Marcus. Good to see you. Appreciate you being here. Got lots of cool stuff up on the board right now. Everything's priced as marked. As you can see, everything ranges from $2 to 8 bucks. It's a good deal. What's up, Chase? Michael Marcus. Good to see you. We got the newest Walking Dead, number 172, in the close-up window for just $3. We got some deals here, too. We got five Marvel comics for 5 bucks. We got six DC comics for 5 bucks, or five independent comics. Not Marvel, not DC. Lots of mix in there. We got Image, we got Dark Horse, but we also have stuff like Eclipse and Epic and Avatar and just all kinds of stuff in those lots of indie books. Five books for five bucks in the indie lots. Who's getting what what? What what? Who's getting what what? Less than 10 minutes to go in the show. We're going to be shutting it down at 2.30. We got 10 minutes left. Five Marvel for five nickels. I have two of those. You're getting one of them, Nichols. Five Marvel for five. Thank you kindly. I'm going to pull the Robotech down. I know I can sell those on the website. I'm going to put something else up in its spot. We're going to go ahead and do a, uh, you know, like a board sale. Board sale. This one will go up here in its place. Taking this one down, this one will definitely sell on the website. And we got to populate the website with some cool stuff. Wow. This is another cool comic I just pulled out of the pile here. Put that back here to go on the website. Here is Green Lantern 5, 6, and 7. 5, 6, and 7. Two bucks a piece if you want them. Or I'm going to sell a board sale. 5, 6, and 7 on the Green Lantern. Two bucks a piece if you want them. We got, uh, Two, four, six, nine, twelve, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, thirty-four. We got thirty-four dollars worth of comics up right now. Thirty-four dollars worth of comics up right now. Who wants to give me an opening bid of just a dollar? Who wants to give an opening bid on this board of a dollar? One dollar. We're gonna auction them. I'm not gonna sell them. Opening bid on this board is a dollar. One dollar. Who wants to give an opening bid of a dollar on this board? Ed English has bid a dollar. Do I hear two? Anybody want to bid two? Rain, you're in a little late. Ed, get it in for a, for a buck. Uh, Lisette is at five. Jim Bryant, how are you? We're, we're, we are auctioning this whole board, everything you see face out in the main board. And the auction currently is at five dollars. We have two, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve books, and we're at seven dollars. Twelve books, we're at eight dollars to Ed English. Eight dollars is the current bid. Eight dollars to Ed English. Ten dollars to Lisette Feliciano. Ten dollars to Ed. Sorry, Rain, you're out at ten. Lisette got in before you did. We are at ten dollars. Ed is at eleven. Thank you, Ed. $11 for Ed. Sorry, Rain, you're out again. I know it probably looks like you're coming in first on your board, but you're second on ours. Uh, we are at $11. Ed English is the high bidder. We do take bids only in whole dollars. Next bid would have to be 12 13 Lisette. She skipped. She skipped a buck. 13 to Lisette. Who wants to go higher than 13 Do I hear $14? 13 to Lisette going once. 
You gonna let her steal them for that? Fifteen to Ed English. Fifteen dollars for the board to Ed English. Fifteen dollars going once. Fifteen dollars going. Oh, Lisette Feliciano comes in at sixteen. Sixteen dollars to Lisette Feliciano. Sixteen dollars going once to Lisette. Do I hear? Seventeen. Do I hear? Twenty-five. Sixteen dollars going twice to Lisette Feliciano. This whole board, 12 books, 16 bucks. Last call. Sold. Lisette Feliciano got the board for $16. Thanks, Lisette. That's our last sale for this sale. We're going to be closing it down. We're going to be opening it back up. Here in about, eh, you know, half an hour. Uh, I believe Jason will be here. So will, of course, Natasha. Um, we'll have the whole crew, the whole A-team. It's whole A-team. Uh, this was 16 bucks, please. Thank you. And uh, we'll be doing some more stuff. They'll have some older stuff here. They'll have some newer stuff. They got some new books. They got some Walking Dead. They got some cool stuff. They got some magic. They got some Pokemon if you ask for it. Lots of cool stuff. We'll be going live at about 3 o'clock. I appreciate you hanging out with us. Uh, Tosh, you want to go ahead and turn it off? Because every time I turn it off, Jason gets mad at me because I unplugged the computer or something stupid. He doesn't like that.